Okay, so we're ready for round two here. Um, got the pine nut soap. It's just two little packages of diamond pine nuts. Probably not organic. But um, I'm just going to throw these in. With, added some more nettle leaves. And then over here we've got some uh, ginkgo nuts that my friend hooked me up with. And um, so most of this food is wild crafted everything except for the basil the hemp oil the olive oil well i guess not most of the stuff but the bulk of the stuff the uh the stinging nettles make up the base for it and that's just a plant that grows wild all over the place it's been introduced from europe so if you see it growing out in the woods you know don't feel bad picking even the whole patch because it's really not necessarily a plant that's supposed to be here, but one that Europeans brought with them, and I'm very thankful that they did. It's just like uh, dandelions were brought over by the Italians, Taraxicum officinalis. I hear they believed that as long as they had the dandelion with them, they knew they would survive. Sounds about right. You can eat the tuber in the winter time and eat the leaves in the springtime and it's super nutritious that's an interesting thing too is like a lot of the most nutritious wild edibles are things that have become naturalized from Europe things like uh, dandelions plantain the plantago major Plantago lanceoleta, that's the other one, the narrow leaf plantain. If you ever did that little thing when you were a kid, Mama had a baby and the head popped off with that little brown headed stalk that you see in grassy fields all through the spring and summertime. I guess more in the summer, but yeah, that was a fun game back in the day. So yeah, throwing in the ginkgo now. We got roasted ginkgo nuts and we got some raw ones that are like juicy and green. I don't know if you can see that. Just hoping it would focus in at some point, but I guess not. And yeah, so that's the main things, I guess, is just uh, weeds are awesome. Pesto is an awesome way to eat a bunch of weeds. And uh, I think pesto is really something more people should get into because it's a super great source of nutrition. It's like, uh, it's got the, like, uh, a lot of these greens are really high in are, are relatively high in vitamin K, um, especially things like sauerkraut. I'll definitely do a sauerkraut video sometime soon. Um, but yeah, vitamin K, you have to have fat in your system to absorb it. And I'm sure there's other nutrients like that. And uh, yeah, so that's how you make pesto. Put it in a food processor and then uh, let it do its thing. And then when it's all said and done, you just dip whatever you want into it and it's good to go. So right on, that's thing metal pesto. Peace and love.